Hello. 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 So Oleg, is, is this one that I thought you had said you wouldn't be able to attend? Are we disrupting yeah, just, you from uh, something? Joint for a second. Ah, OK, got it. So we were planning to discuss JSOC today, right? Or not? I I think that was on the list. Yes, I've got to look at the agenda. Sorry, I haven't I haven't opened the agenda yet. And I do there have an update from Dan and um, Tara from Google on this as well. Mm -hmm. So Oleg, if you're unable to attend, is it sensible for us to discuss Google Summer of Code today? Should we delay the discussion for another time? Oh, well, if you want to discuss that, uh, I will stay. Okay, all right. I'm not exactly helpful uh, right now on other, on other fronts. Okay. So want me to share the share the notes as a screen or do we want to? Oh, I'm on the host. Uh, maybe I oh. should uh, make you uh, the host, Mark. Hey, yeah. hello everybody. That would be fine so. if you find, if you need to drop off. Yeah. Okay, so okay. you've got the powers. Can okay. everybody hear me okay? Yes. Can. Yes, Mark, you thank you. Right. So how about, should we assemble the agenda? I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and mm -hmm. we can start working on assembling the agenda and whoops, wrong screen. share this screen. Got it. You should see a copy of the agenda. Yes, mm -hmm. we can. Okay, super. All right. Okay, so topics, we've got Google Summer of Code 2021 planning, good one to have discuss while Oleg's available for us. Other topics that we need to discuss? Uh, live stream sessions with Darren Pope, is that one that Alyssa you'd like to discuss? Darren Pope, uh, promoting, etc. Mm -hmm. Any other topics that need to be on the agenda for today? I oh. think I was just going to give a heads up uh, about the uh, the Jenkins is the way ebook. Oh yes, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fos Fosdom as well. Fosdom, okay, good. All right. Any other items that we need to put on the agenda? Um, and then for me, just the annual report reminder. All right, okay, so let's put that uh, CDF annual report. Oleg, do we need anything on the, we had discussed at the end of your blog post for the Jenkins project already handled or? The one we discussed yesterday, uh, not, not handled. So okay, since we have Mark here, it would be nice to discuss. Great, okay, so how about Just Jenkins? Just to sync up again. Perfect, yeah, all right. Okay, so shall we talk to, Google Summer of Code 2021 planning first. Yep, so um, I brought this up at the TOC meeting um, last week. And so Dan, Lawrence, and Tara Hernandez are both Google employees and also um, 
Tara was involved in, in Google Summer of Code as an admin last mm -hmm. year. So Dan reached out to them about us applying under one application versus multiple. Um, so it looks like they're they are willing to honor all of the slots that they've given Jenkins in the past. We just have to make a note um, under the anything else section that CDF, like we are going to be including Jenkins and Jenkins X under us under this application um, to remind them, you know, a, a, of the allocation that normally Jenkins gets. So for us, it's yet to be seen whether we can ask for this allocation because we still uh, to prepare these of project ideas and uh, um, to onboard mentors. Right. Okay, good. But, but Jackie, I think what Jacqueline, what you were saying is that there was a risk previously that Google Summer of Code might see CDF and say, hey, you haven't had a large number of projects before. Jenkins has a bunch of project ideas and a bunch of mentors ready. And they said, no, we won't give them to you. And what you learned from Tara and from, uh, from Dan was they will honor that so long as we remind them. Yes, That's exactly. Good. In our in our application. So excellent. Okay. Question about doing this under the CDF org is who will handle actual org admin duties? Um I don't know. We'll have to ask somebody to take this on. Last year, it was also Tara. So we, we could also ask her if she'd like to do that again. Yeah, so for Jenkins, uh, we have uh, three contributors who pretty much confirmed being core admins. It's uh, Kyra, me, and Marke. So I'm not sure what is our total capacity would be because everyone has uh, other commitments as well. So maybe we should, should I say here in the notes, so like uh, have, have been or willing to, or have been org admins in the past? I think I remember Kara saying that she would be happy to be like an org admin for the Jenkins and Jenkins X. Right. Um, and then I think last year, um, from the screwdriver side, it was Jithin who participated, and I believe um, from the Spinnaker side, it was Rosalind. Um, but so Tara... were these? I'm sorry. I no, go apologize. Ahead. I interrupted. No, no please no, finish. Ahead. I interrupted. Um, yeah. Will, so I will these individuals will they actually be org admins or mentors? Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, I believe they were mentors, and I believe Tara was actually the one that was the org admin for the CDF. It was Tara, Rosalind, uh, Tracy, uh, you, Jacqueline, if I recall correctly, and me as a backup. So I definitely remember that uh, we used all five for org admin slots. Uh, I, I can definitely, uh, <clears throat> I can org admin, but I would like to know who the other org admins are going to be. That will, uh, I don't know the right way to say this, but I'm, I'm gonna just say it straight. That'll, do, that'll influence my decision, whether I can do it or not, depending on who's doing it. Yeah, I, I don't think that's defined yet, Marky. Okay. Okay. All right. So, are there are there? We know about the need for project ideas. The request has been launched um, uh, yesterday. Uh, it, it needs more promotion. Uh, is that? Let's see, are there other channels that Jacqueline or others could be acting as voice for? We, we tweeted about it yesterday. We, we used LinkedIn. 
Uh, Mark, I also included it in the uh, continuous information newsletter. Ah, okay. And I think I, I, I think I saw the blog yesterday, so I can always send it over to um, Roxanne, our newsletter editor, and also include it in the CDF newsletter that goes out in January. Jackie, would it be worthwhile to do a uh, to cross post the blog and CDF blog? Yeah, yeah. I can um, I can make that submission. Yeah, I, I can just send it to Roxanne. I'll just send her the link and ask her to cross post and to also include it in the um, newsletter for next month as well. Okay, so is it Roxanne that is handling the uh, the blog post for CDF? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the blog post and the newsletter. Yes. Okay. And now, now for the larger CDF, I guess, I guess this is Jenkins advocacy. I don't have to worry about the larger CDF promotion. Jacqueline, I assume you'll take care of that. Yeah, I've been, you know, I've been going around to the TOC and to other meetings and letting them know about this and, and you know, asking people to just also figure out what they want to do for, for Google Summer of Code. So people are aware, like the stakeholders from last year are aware. Um, I think I just have to keep pushing on to see if they're going to do anything about it. So Excellent. I just, ha yeah, I just don't have an update on that. I haven't heard. Okay. All right. Are there other questions relative to C whether we, whether the Jenkins project works under the umbrella of CDF or not? Uh, funds was one that we had a discuss discussion on our payment management last time. Is that something that needs further discussion today? I, I don't know, not from my side. So, so budgeting, I think we can figure it out. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. It's not an immediate issue, good. Okay, so basically have number of students we can decide uh, how this uh, particular money are distributed quite easily then uh, there are travel grants i'm not sure that today will be face to face uh, mentor summit next year um, but yeah anyway it's, it's definitely uh, not something uh, uh, would be a blocker Great, excellent, okay. All right, so we know about the need for mentors and that's part of the part of the launch that happened yesterday. Any other topics on Google Summer of Code? Okay, next topic then, live stream sessions with Darren Pope. Um, Alyssa, maybe you could highlight for us what what this is, and if, if you're not comfortable, I can certainly describe it, but share with us what, what's happening here and how it can and how it can and does help. Now you're muted, Alyssa. Sorry about that. So uh, thank you, Mark. So feel free to jump in and add anything you think I might be missing, Mark. But um, so Darren Pope is a developer advocate for CloudBees. And he has started a channel um, right now. It's a live stream channel. And the first one, I think it was the first one that he did, or at least it's the first one that I was aware of is was the one that he did with Mark. And it was uh, talking about um, uh, the LTS. Um, the video is currently on um, YouTube at the moment and um, on that video, Mark went through a lot of really good information about LTS and some of its status updates. So what I did last night was I, I added it to the continuous information newsletter because I was working on it last night. Um, but I also thought it might be good for us to include it in the CDF site. Um, so uh, what I want to do is, so it's a good video, wanted to see if, uh, I will work with Darren to see if we can get a blog out of it. And then we, we post that on CDF as well to promote it. 
Um, and then there was another video that I found out last night was Darren interviewed um, Marky and Gavin as the newest members of the governance board. So I also added that to the continuous information newsletter. Um, but it might be worthwhile to, to cross post that too, or get that information on CDF if Jackie thinks it's appropriate or if it's too much, it's fine too. Yeah, I think um, just uh, send it over to Roxanne since she's the one yeah. managing the newsletter and the blog. Mm -hmm. um, and then if she has any, um, you know, concerns, she'll raise it to Tracy. So okay. yeah, that should be fine. Okay, good, good. Marky, any, any feedback from you? How did the session go for you? Was it net positive, net negative insights? I thought it was, I thought it was net positive. I really liked his format. Uh, it's very free flowing, but you kind of have bullet points and he'll let you know how he's leading into a bullet point. So there'll be like banter and, and then, you know, you're going to get into a bullet point because he'll use a certain word. Uh, I, I actually liked it so well. I told him that, hey, anytime you ever want me back, I'll be back. He actually sent me an email and I'll be uh, going on next week as a plugin maintainer and talking oh, about nice. how plugin maintainers go. So I really enjoyed it. So maybe that would be a good opportunity to get more plugin content maintainers in the future. Yeah. That was the, the that was kind of the idea was to we're going to highlight a series of plugins that are up for adoption, mm -hmm. and see if we can start maybe generating some interest in that. I really I really thought it was a, a the format's good, and I think we can really utilize what this is. Great, thanks. So, any questions from the group to Alyssa or to others about about? this concept or how it's how it's working okay uh, anything else from you Alyssa, before we go on to the next topic i think i'm good thank you all right the jenkins end of your blog post so i think this was one where um, marky you and oleg uh, are working it together or how about you share for us the status of things and then we coordinate yeah the uh i'm still working on a document i got sick a little yesterday so i wasn't able to do it i'm hoping to have the google doc out this weekend and uh, and then we'll get that the goal would be to oleg would you say to have this published by before christmas so like before next week Oh, I mark it. Looks like we lost Oleg. He just seems oh, okay. to have dropped off. I think the and goal I don't, was is that. Go ahead. Oh no, I I hadn't. Last year we published actually after January one, so so before Christmas sounds really great. Potentially a little aggressive. Okay, we that was just something we were just kind of throwing around. So if we wanted to ah, maybe okay. shoot for the the. I think the 4th of January is kind of like when everybody comes back from holiday. And I, I don't want to bias you in terms of, of what you choose as your publication date, you and you and Oleg can work it out, whatever, whatever you prefer. This is, it was an, a very successful blog post last year. And I, I, I think it's a great story to tell again this year. Yep. So I will, I'm going to tentatively shoot for the, the, before Christmas, that'll be a tentative, but the stretch will be for the 4th of January. Okay. Great, thank you. Anything else on the end of your blog post? I assume that you're taking, you'll accept suggestions and ideas and topics. Yeah, when I send out the, uh, I'll send out the Google Doc, it'll probably go out this weekend. And then and I'll put that in the advocacy mailing list so people can drop comments and we can sort of make it uh, organic. Great. Uh, okay, and we've got Oleg back. Yeah, sorry, I remembered that it was exactly this topic. 
So yeah, yesterday we agreed that uh, we'll sync up with your mark key and uh, then start this Google Doc. So uh, yeah, this weekend. Right? Yeah. yeah, my goal is to have the Google Doc out this weekend, uh, hopefully Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I was I was gonna try to hope that we could get this out for before Christmas, but that might be that's my goal. But uh, if mm -hmm. not, I was thinking the next date would be the early January, like maybe the fourth of January. It's when everybody comes back from holiday. Yeah. So usually we publish it um, in early January. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if we get it before Christmas, it would be awesome. Agreed. Great. Any anything else on the end of your blog post? Anything there, Oleg, that you need to coordinate or any concerns? We just need to get started and uh, to actually put some content. Excellent. Super. Thank you, Marky, for leading it. Thanks a bunch. Thanks, Marky. So Jacqueline, CDF annual report. Yeah, so I think um, I think I'll be good then if if Marky's because oh, most of the time I just pull information from um, the end of your blog. Um, so I think that will be good. I can just take stuff from that that Marky puts together. Yeah, uh, for the CDF report, uh, mm -hmm. Jackie, I'm going to actually send you the end of your blog report will have what I'm also going to send you separately, which will just be kind of like what we used last year, for yep. just kind of like the stats of the project as a that whole. Works. Yeah, that works. Because mm -hmm. we'll also want to link back to your blog as well. Okay. Yeah. Anything else on the CDF annual report? Do you want to share the the dates again, just to remind everybody, timeline. Yes, so our goal is to publish um, the week of January 18th through the 22nd. And then uh, for projects, we um, gave them a deadline of, I think January 13th uh, to get all of their data points and, and blogs and all that kind of stuff done. Um, so yeah, those are those are the two, two big ones for, for projects. Excellent. All right. Anything else, Jack? Jacqueline? I'm okay. That was okay. It. Alyssa Jenkins is the way ebook status. Hey. Um, okay. So I'm off mute. Okay. Um, so I put a link in the chat window. So that is the discussion that we've had with the um, developer mailing list. And Mark, I'm not sure if you're able to pull it up, but it, the initial, the original email shows the um, a version of the ebook. So basically I went to the governance board yesterday asking if we, um, if, if they would like to have their names in the uh, under uh, as the signers of the this letter and um, Oleg rightfully suggested it should be my name, but I would also like to add and and or um, the advocacy and outreach SIG. So I'm going to move forward with this draft and uh, based on some of the edits that Mark and Oleg has suggested previously. And then instead of the Jenkins project where Mark has highlighted, I will have Alyssa Tong as events officer for 2020 and the um, advocacy and outreach SIG, if that's okay. I'm a plus one. Yay. This looks really good, Alyssa. Oh, great, thank you. Yeah, I'll, um, let me know when it's final so then I can uh, tell Roxanne and she can add it to our website somewhere. Okay. Perfect, that would be great. Thank you, Jackie. And that's it for me, easy one. Great, thank you. All right, Marky, I think you had brought FOSDM 2021 as a topic. You want to lead that yes. discussion? Yes, uh, we will be having a Jenkins table. Uh, Jackie, I need to get with you at maybe some point this week or early next week to make sure that I'm in coordination with the CDF 
for that. Um, uh, I, yeah, I need, so yeah, we should sing because we haven't done anything for FOSDEM yet. And I know, yeah, I, I'm so out of the loop on that one. So I'll yeah. ask also Tracy, um, because I thought that somebody had gotten like a dev room already. Jenkins does have the, the CICB yeah. room. Uh, Olivier will be doing that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Alyssa shared documents with me to go and how, like how, what we did last year to set it up. So that's what I was going to meet with you. I just haven't had a chance to actually tell you. So I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no Sorry. problem. Uh, it's fine. Um, I, so the next two weeks, uh, we are out. We're taking some time off. Oh, nice. Um, but if you want to catch me either today or tomorrow, my calendar is up to date. Um, awesome. So yeah, just let me, or if we can wait till the like beginning of the new year on the fourth, let me know. Yeah, I'll get with you probably tomorrow. Okay. Jackie, I think I sent Mark, if I'm not mistaken, um, collateral that, that you, what you use at the booth last year. So it might be just reviewing that and see if you want to update it and then have that available for download. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that would be, that would be great. Yeah, I'll forward to you what I sent, uh, Marky. That was all Marky. I had, Mark. Super, thank you. Um, Last item I had was to remind that we agreed last time that we would cancel the cancel the December 31 meeting. Any objections to continuing with that plan that December 31 we won't meet? I'm a plus one. Me too. Plus one. So yeah. Next meeting is then whatever that date is in January, looking to see. So it would be. You say, yeah, January 7, thank you. Something I was like, something like that. <laughs> and I apologize. Um, I will be, I will miss that meeting. I'm out for a personal adventure that day. Is it your birthday? No, no, it's no. nothing, <laughs> nothing that cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning 24? <laughs> that's right. That's right. And I tell my children that all the time. I'm turning 24. Yes. <laughs> okay. You don't look a day over 23 to me. <laughs> Keep it up. That's the way. Blatant flattery and recorded. I, I like that. <laughs> okay. Any other topics before we close this meeting? Actually, Mark, I have one. Um, so I have on my calendar as December 20, December 28th is when um, we need to submit some kind of Jenkins content to Roxanne to include in the CDF newsletter. And that's for the January newsletter. Oh, and the this project is, updates. Yeah. Right. Sorry. So yeah, the project updates, a project highlight. And so we kind of missed the boat last time when the last newsletter, but so I have it on my calendar. What was that, Oleg? Uh, yeah, maybe there are parallel threads, uh, but yeah, then Lawrence uh, requests uh, the updates and uh, last month I definitely sent one. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. okay. So I want, I just wanted to make sure so mm -hmm. I have it on my calendar and my responsibility to- Okay. To get something over there, um, I mean something needy, what whatever it is that we want to highlight for that month. So um, just want to give a heads up that I'll be reaching out, or at least I'll do an, an email just to remind folks what we want. What do we want to highlight for the month for from Jenkins? When's Fostum again? Is that something like that we would want to highlight that you know Jenkins has a table and there's a room, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think, well, I know that for at least in the continuous information newsletter, we have FOSDEM under the events section. Okay. Yeah. I just was saying like maybe a line that says like Jenkins is going to participate in that. And then we, mm -hmm. we also add like the link to FOSDEM in the events section. Oh, okay. February 6th through the 7th. Because mm -hmm. um, I, sometimes I don't know it if we'll publish the next edition of the of the February newsletter in time to also capture that highlight. So okay. that's also the only reason why I brought that up. Yeah, no, that's a good point. I'll, I'll, I'll work with Roxanne to make sure it's included. 
Yeah, so is it, for my education, is that a place where we highlight information that we'd previously posted in blog posts, um, blog post summaries, go into that? What sorts of things have you done in the past, or like when you've written that? Or is that something we somebody, somebody else writes and I just am not aware of it? Uh, so uh, for status updates, it's usually something like five uh, lines, maybe a bit more of these key updates over the months. I'm going to so. drop also like um, last, the last uh, mm -hmm. newsletter edition, and then I'll also add. So mm -hmm. we... Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, I think December was the second time we did it, and then November was the first time we did it. So here are two examples of, of how what we've collected um, under these um, program updates or project updates, excuse me. So, so yeah. Oh, so, project updates. There yeah. we go. Got it. Okay. All right. So it was really short last. Um, Why did it pop up my email? Excuse me. <laughs> I should not uh, click links when I'm live recording, should I? <laughs> That's great. Okay. There you go. Um, yeah, so, and then on the, on the November edition, we highlighted all of the, for example, um, the 2020 elections committee announcement. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's a combo of things uh, that, okay. that we, that you can include. Got it. All right. Jackie, this page, the one that you just sent, well, the one that Mark is showing right now, it kind of looks like what we, we receive in the newsletter and the email. It is. Right? It is. So basically, um, we're sending out the newsletter over email first, and then we have the archive as a web page. Uh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So Alyssa, I thought, I thought one of the, one of the, challenges or one of the concerns had been hey we want to be above the fold when we can because we're a big part of cdf we're, is that yeah. yeah so jenkins we feel that jenkins is a very big part of cdf and so mark if you go back to the other page so i guess i was referring to the actual newsletter that we, I, that, that most of us saw uh, in our email and it so in one of these boxes, these black boxes, uh, there weren't anything that was on Jenkins. And so that was a concern that was raised. And so I need to make sure. Yeah. So are you talking about the CDF newsletter specifically, Alyssa? Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, the thing is, every month we have it's theme based. So um, the what Roxanne's been doing the past few months on 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 the on the newsletter mm -hmm. is uh, based on that theme, she took sessions from CDCon and turned them into blogs. Okay. So if, you know, if, if Jenkins isn't part of the theme or didn't have content, um, that is, that's why it's not featured there. So like oh. last um, uh, week, it was like CD in action. And mm -hmm. so we just took from content that existed and converted it into blogs. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Yeah, but I did give Roxanne a heads up that going forward that, you know, like I said, I have her deadline on my calendar. So I'll work directly with her just to make sure that we either, either we have something on there or we don't. Um, yeah, so the, and then the project updates is going to be a static part of the newsletter moving forward as well. Um, so I know Dan Lawrence also buds the TOC to get updates from the community. Um, so, but yeah, I think that the more updates um, that you have, I think the better. Okay. Uh, so, so Alyssa, it feels like they're the, you, we may benefit by you bringing to us what the theme is that Roxanne's working on for the next okay. newsletter, if she's selected that and we can be thinking around how do we fit something into that theme? How do we answer that, address that theme? Yeah. And, um, so, let me, so then let Jackie, me. are there themes defined in advance? How far? Yes, advance? yes, they are. Let me, I'll, um, let, I, I was just gonna pull up the newsletter um, repo. Mm -hmm. um, here you go. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Okay. Yeah, so everything's outlined there. Right. That's great. Thanks, Jackie. Yeah. Yeah. So if um, the, uh, I'll ask her to a reminder. Um, I think they she's just working with Tracy Miranda right now on defining what next year's topics are going to be. But mm -hmm. once she has all of that, um, she's got up to February. Um, but yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Great. All right. Anything else on the CBF newsletter, Alyssa or Jackie? No, I'm okay. good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Any other topics? I think we're good. All right. Have Thanks, everybody. Thank I will. You. I will end the meeting then and post the recording shortly. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays, everybody.